I'm back and this is video 70 in my vanilla run series and in the last video I pretty much just did different balances and checks to reduce my Nimbus Disciples attainment and I also increased their attainment so that I can move forward with actually doing some attainment tribulations and I'm pretty much happy at the point of which I got my Nimbus Disciple 2 and the amount of manuals that I was able to learn so now I'm pretty much just pushing my Nimbus Disciple to become a demigod so that I can I'm pushing them to become a demigod so that I can bring them to 200 mental state base and also get the maximum artifact power bonus and the maximum match chi bonus so we're just meditating to that point and then I'll pretty much just be trying to figure out things that I can do in between while I wait for that disciple to become a demigod so let me just check out this disciple right now they are almost at the bottleneck so I just want to get them through this bottleneck and then start to meditate again and then I'll start to focus on some other things and you know my sect is still looking like a plot of land so maybe I'll just do some you know sect decoration and just do something very basic and make it like spirit stone sect so I just add some spirit stones I guess I can do 50 it won't hurt and I also need to begin to trace first on bows on loop again just because I was doing that before and it was bringing me in a good amount of money so I'm gonna start this back up and then besides that I also want to get some more feng shui relics from that let's see what else do I have I have some treasure secrets but I'm not really interested in collecting any of these and I do have a drought which ends in 10 days I think I pretty much ignored this so let me send one of my disciples over here to provide disaster relief and then besides that I also figured out that if I can get any of these plants to 100% maturity, then I should be able to actually get the fortune due, which is something that I really wanted. And of course, this spare root is becoming cursed, so let me also manage these spare roots by nurturing them. So this is a water one, so it wants to have metal things around it. So I'll feed this one to sage fruit. And then this one is metal. So once the prism lotus. Where is the prism lotus that I just selected? Okay, there's a bunch over here, so I can't miss that one out. This one is already being nurtured. And then this one is also already being nurtured. So now Lady Cloud is ready to do their breakthrough. So let's get that done. And then besides that, my Generation 2 Turtle is also equipping the full Suspirit gear that I will use for my Nemesis Disciple. However, I didn't notice that some of these artifacts aren't as good as they could be. So I do want to actually swap this out, these artifacts out for better ones if I can. So like for example, I want to have this 231 artifact power artifact instead. So right now we have 231 and then this is 178. I don't want to have anything that's less than 200. It's 149, 154, 220, and then 206, 228, and then that's 199, which is close. And then that's 221. So yeah, I did know that I had way better artifacts available. And then I believe that my tiger also has some good artifacts equipped too. Yeah, this is 228. So I think I will actually take this one from the tiger and then have the tiger equip something that's a little less powerful. But it's all for a great cause. So let's see, what are we working with right here? 
200 assists, 220, 221, 228, 228, 231. Oh, so it looks like my new standard is around above 220. So maybe this 200 assists isn't even enough based on the other things that I have. So let's see, can I find yet another one that has like 220 power? 211, 200, 218. 218 is close enough, so I'll just take this one also. And give this guy something weaker. Sorry, 221, 208, 231, 218, 220. So we're at around 220 artifact power on average, which is perfect. Oh, man, South Belize are full. So after this guy does their breakthrough, I'll just have them go to Mount South. Just because I'm pushing them to Demigod, I want them to have as much inspiration as possible. Then this guy is in need of help, but they will die soon, which is perfect. And then besides that, I do remember that I was thinking about getting this disciple right here to be able to do some more Demigod tribulations. And to do that, I needed this guy to actually become a Demigod so that they could craft Eureka pills. So let's just see. Oh, this guy could actually sub spirit the ability to craft Eureka pills. Interesting. And it's alchemy level four. So this would be way quicker than actually because I learned the I learned this manual to craft Eureka pills on this guy, right? But I quickly remembered that this guy doesn't have the increased alchemy yield that this primordial symbols guy has. So it wouldn't even make sense for me to do that. So I was pushing this guy to Demigod. However, this is my Tribulation Farmer. So I could actually sub-spirit this gear as a level 6 sub-spirit item instead. But I don't want to mess up my sub-spirits on my main turtle that has all of the sub-spirits. Because this guy has 51 juicy sub-spirits. And I just don't, I don't want to use that just for that manual or think about it so I'm going to use this guy who's level 6 and they already have two sussers that they can attach and let's see suspirit turtle they can attach two suspirits so they pretty much just need to learn the manual to be able to oh but I would need to actually max out their alchemy too so it would be the same thing in the case of that, like I would need to continuously farm inspiration with them. And these demigods can't travel, so there's no way for them to gain inspiration quickly if it's not transcribing manuals or if it's not through consuming Eureka Pills. So I'll actually just take that loss and then uh, move forward with creating this sub spirit. So I actually need to get this guy to sub spirit level 5, and I need to get their alchemy to 20. So let's just move forward by doing that. Because it says I need to, it's an alchemy related um, sub spirit type. So to attach those, you need to have 20 alchemy. The good thing is that this guy has infinite inspiration because they can do infinite tribulations. So, uh, but because it's level 5, uh, it's level 6. So I would need to be able to have 18 sub spirit items just to activate that one so that would drastically reduce my amount let's see so I'm actually looking to make um, a sub-spirit set for artifact power and a sub-spirit set for I don't know what the second one would be but I know that I want to do two sub-spirit sets from this guy that are level 6 so Level 6 starts at 26 sub spirits and you have a maximum of 64. So 64 minus 26 is 38. So that means I can comfortably make two sub spirit gears, I guess. Because one sub spirit full set was 18, right? And 18 times 2 is 36. So I actually do have room to make. So basically, I would use 36 sub spirits to make the level 6 sub spirit gear for my Nimbus Disciple. And then besides that, I will have two sub spirits left over, and I really only need one sub spirit to make 
to Suspiro is level six gear, and then I just need to pretty much be able to create 18 more Suspiro sets. So right now I have 13 attached. So if I added 18 more, then I would get 31 Suspiro used. And then if I use 31, then I would actually only have 33 left over and I need to have 36 left over so that's a dilemma because I use I attached 13 already so unless I could find those 13 items that I made into subsidiary gear then it's probably less than ideal for me to go that route And sadly, I did make those it those eighteen items all um like lotus roots basically, <laughs> or just like useless items that probably got lost. Hmm. Well, I guess if I'm thinking about it, I don't really need two level six suspect gear because I know that for increasing my Nemesis Disciples artifact power I would like to use 18 items right let's see this I know that I would like to use 18 items so I need 18 subspheres to add the huge epiphany for artifact power and then besides that I may want to use six other artifacts so then I want to also have six subspirits to add 600 artifact power on those as well and then besides that I want to be able to either increase my Nimbus Disciple spell or their protect they already have a large amount of mass chi so the second subspirit gear will be more so for them to survive more tribulations and I believe that increasing their spell power will be the best option for that so I would need 12 subspirits to increase their spell level and that would increase your spell level by 12 right and then I also want to do the secret quotas of Taiyi and I will more than likely do a 600 artifact power bonus on the secret quotas of Taiyi right so then how many suspects is this right here that I have allocated then this right here is level 5 so this doesn't really matter and so these are the level 6 ones that I would want so I would want to have 18 plus 6 is 24 so 25 level 6 so and level 6 is between 26 and 64 subspirits so then let's do 64 subtracted by 26 so then that's 38 subspirits so I'd only be using 25 out of 38 right and to make another, to be able to activate the Eureka Pill recipe, I need to create a set of 18 items. They all don't have to be level 6. Right. So I can just start off by making like some level 5 ones. So right now this guy is at 13 um, sub spirits, right? So I could actually go from I can make 14 to 26 which would be let's see 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 that's 13 subspirit gears so I can get 13 subspirit gears level 5 up to 26 and then I could also do I would need 18, so I would need 5 more, so then 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, right, so then, so 26 to 30 would be the remaining 5, so spirit gear, that would be, I guess, level 6, or less, but it doesn't really matter, so it would be remaining 5, so then, the leftover that I would have would be, pretty much 
Would that be enough? Because then I would still have 34 left over. But I could still incorporate some of the subsphere gear that I was thinking about into the gear that I was thinking about. So I don't know. This is a lot of brain stuff. Just to get that one recipe on my disciple. So maybe it would just be better <laughs> to get this guy the demigod so that they could start to craft Eureka pills. But I think for now it would probably be best for me to just do some mandates honestly. Or buy some from Mfollow Boat. Because this guy just needs Eureka pills so that they could create a new South Spirit gear set for themselves basically. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I would be doing. Yeah, I was thinking about something else that I could possibly do. So yeah, this guy just needs to be able to create a suspect gear set for himself. For these um spell level ones. So they really only just need enough Eureka pills so that they can continuously increase their spell skill level. And that shouldn't require too much. So let me just move forward and like just do some trading and just buy some like manuals and other things that I can use to increase my inspiration while I'm too lazy to buy some Eureka pills. So these guys have three manuals that I can learn. So I'll just buy all of these. And then I mean there's 11 sex so hopefully it's enough. Demonia Temple, they don't have any manuals. Isolant has three manuals. I'm assuming that they all have three tier 12 manuals that I can buy. And then if I wanted to, I can just like pick them up from other sects or things like that. Okay, so it also is dependent on the connection. Which is when I start to get annoyed because I'm like, oh, I could really just dominate you guys and take what I want. And I believe I did take those manuals from Seven Slaughtering Sword. The last time I played. So I just did Pit of Doom, I believe. But yeah, these are tier 12 manuals, so they should be more than enough to give my guy enough inspiration to learn all those things. So hopefully that just works out instead of me having to make compromises on the amount of suspirits that I will use. Um, I only have one connection to Evan Fallable. The Lotus Temple. Mystic Unity Sec. They also have like manuals that I can just steal for free, so I can get six manuals from those guys actually. Purple Cloud Palace. Yeah, I think I'm on a really good track right now. This is way simplified. Let's trade them two like prism. <coughs> I'll just trade them two prism lotuses. Sky Dome Palace. I don't have any connection with you guys. Oh, huh. I wonder why. That's weird. All right, Kunlun Palace. Nine connection. Nice. We're friends. I like that. Let's see. This is the electric elixir section. And then lastly, sunshade abode. I don't have any connection with them either. Wow. You guys don't like me, huh? How many connections do I need for this? I just need one. So if I give these guys a chicken egg and a blue fabric, then. I could increase my connection and buy two manuals from them. Which I'm pretty sure I have both items. Eh. I at least have a blue fabric. Don't I? Wow. I don't have a chicken egg or a blue fabric. That's pretty sad. So, the first thing I want to do is read these manuals. 
before I start my game again because it would change the list of items. And all of these are pretty good unorthodox manuals, which are randomly generated manuals. And they have a great amount of attainment. Um, read. That should be all of them. And then besides that, I also want to max out this guy's learning speed. So they should be a human. And uh, they should also have the learning speed gear on right here. I got this from Mystic Unity Sect. And then they should also have a Civil Prosperity Talisman Equip. And then finally they should be inside of the Cultivation Branch. So because I moved my Cultivation Branch over here, I'm thinking that I may need to take these three um, manual pavilions down because this is where I have my disciples typically learn things from. So I'll need to demolish these and make them unusable and then create some new ones that aren't usable as well and just make it so that my cultivators are transcribing inside of the cultivation branch. So let's see, um, manual pavilion, there's one more that I don't, oh no, these are only two. So then let's just build these manual pavilions anywhere and just make sure they're inaccessible. What do I want to use to build? Eh, I'll use marble blocks. Let's place them against the wall. And I'm transcribing or at least I will be transcribing a lot of different laws, so I want to make a little bit more. By a little bit more, I mean a lot. Then again, I'm placing these against the wall so that my disciple doesn't go to these ones and actually ends up using this one right here. Instead, I'll make this one out of fire just so that it doesn't like burn. And uh, my cultivation branch is very small right now, so let's expand that branch area. Because the cultivation branch will actually increase the learning speed. I think this IMBD actually might be in the way, so let's cancel that. So these are all of the manuals that I just unlocked so let's try to change that up and place this like right here facing down and let's see what was this okay so I have a beast invader this beast is tier 12 that means this would be a perfect guy to make a spirit contract because I will get a tier 12 spirit contract so I'm going to kill this guy Oh, did they? Wow. What happened? <laughs> there were so many pop-ups that I absolutely did not see what just happened to that beast. Ugh. That's my pop-ups. What in the world? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so my mouse just moved me down. I thought that someone just came and butchered that beast like instantly. Alright, <laughs> it's a tier 12 beast, so I can use this guy to sell contract. And get a tier 12 contract. Which are always welcome. As you can see, I have the territorial contract, and all is good. And I'm pretty much just waiting for this guy. So let's assign him to be a builder. And have them provide disaster relief. Nice, so we were able to solve that disaster. Yeah, I think this is a nice little side quest. So all of these manual pavilions were created. The manual pavilions that were here were removed. So let me just double up. 
let's make sure that this one is here so let me just double check that this is the only manual pavilion that's accessible so I'll just have this guy like learn a random skill or is this called zero attainment okay that's weird so this guy is going to the manual pavilion and as you can see since that's the only main pavilion that's accessible they will go in here and thus be inside of the cultivation branch and now their learning speed is at 591 percent I wonder why it's at 380 percent now um, let's see what is it outside of the cultivation branch yeah, I mean, it's drastically reducing. So now it's at 170%, which is perfect. All right, so now that I have all of those things in place, let's see. We're at 487% learning speed. And then uh, with the Civil Prosperity Talisman, we'll be at 594%. And then they have this. So they should be getting loads and loads of inspiration from transcribing this manual. And then besides that, I think... Well, I know that it's also based on their intelligence too, so let's just double check that they have good intelligence. They're turtles, so it's more than likely high. So right now their intelligence is only at eight. So I would like to also equip a heaven sent talisman on this guy. Heaven sent talisman tier twelve. And again, my goal is just to have enough inspiration to continuously sub spirit and uh, learn different manuals. Um, I could also increase it. I could give them an item that increases their intelligence too, but I think I'm fine at where I'm at with them right now. They're a nine intelligence, which is still pretty high. So these are all of the manuals that I have accumulated over time. So. This guy has a pretty long list of manuals that they can transcribe to get attainment. And that's why I added all of those extra manual pavilions because they take up capacity. So I'm going to have this guy begin to accumulate attainment. Not attainment, inspiration. I want to get inspiration on this guy. And this is pretty much what I'm reduced to because they're a demigod. But I'm hoping that like each one of these manuals give them like at least a million inspiration. That would be very ideal. I'll start off with the ascension laws because they're higher tier laws and they have more contents in them. The capacity is typically higher, so they should be getting more inspiration from that. And I'm just selecting everything because I know that I'll need tons and tons of inspiration. And so yeah. And I think at this point is when I would probably want to save my game. Just because there's so many clicks and you know if something goes wrong then I would be annoyed. And then if I just mess up in some way, then I would also be annoyed. So these are just things that I wouldn't want to have to go through again. So as you can see, as I'm selecting transcribe, the capacity is reducing. So I says I have 2,192 left over. This has a capacity of 120. And then uh, now I have 2,072 left over. And you get 100 capacity per manual pavilion that you have. So this just means I have 18 extra manual pavilions that aren't full. And if I needed more, then I would just add more manual pavilions. These Golden Core Laws don't have that much capacity. So as you can see, 63. And then the more that of these that you add, the less attainment it costs, or inspiration it costs to learn manuals in a manual pavilion. So it's always beneficial. So I'm just going to start off with this big batch of manuals 
and then if I need more, then I'll just go to like you know, shoe, pick up their manuals, Mystic Unity Sec, and I believe I have Pit of Doom. No, not Pit of Doom. I have Seven Slaughtering Story, but I think I have all of their manuals already. So I think we'll be good on that. So Gen One Turtle Transcribe. So now I can continue to play my game and have this guy just collect as much inspiration as possible. So let's see. This one should be rushing to the manual pavilion since I just gave them all of those um, tasks to transcribe those manuals. What was that? Did they do that instantly? No, there's no way. There's no way that that just happened. Do them guys instantly transcribe? Nine two. That's forty three million inspiration, huh? I never knew that. Was that an effect of me like saving my game, or was that instant? Okay, I think I'm on a brink of learning something new so let's see um I'll create some blue fabric and then see if I can try to do that and see what that looks like again that's overpowered like honestly so Lady Cloud is going to mount south right now was that blue fabric just created like that let's, let's try that again my disciples are so fast that I'm not even seeing what's happening. Oh, these are full too. Nice. Um, this agency is not messed out though. Let's see. Fully upgrade that. That was crazy. All right, so no one is assigned Taylor, so obviously they're not going to do that. Oh, Great Desert is also full. All right, that was Central Plain. Let's go to Great Desert. Oh, their storage is full, not their belief. Their belief is at a measly 47,000. Snake Tail Village, what was that? Let's just do all of these claims. Plotting. What does this mean? Oh, I have an event. I would love to decrease the other people's population. And this is at 14 million. And of course I have this one building to be level 3 again, oh, that's a lot. So is that fabric created? I believe it was. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay, I believe it's getting created now, yep. And the blue fabric was placed down, so... Which sect was it? Was it Mount Sunshade? Yeah. So let's give these guys some fabric so I can buy another manual off of them. Then I also have these tasks too, which I could have used to get more favor with them. So like for example, they just need a life pill. So if I accept them and I give them a life pill. And I also should get some connection. Or maybe that was just favor. I actually didn't read what that would have given me. Yeah, so these just give favor, and then sometimes they give connection if it's like something expensive. So like a Marvel pill. I'm pretty sure I have multiple Marvel pills. Uh, 
yeah. Luckily I have one extra Maru pill. Alright, I have one connection with these guys, so let's buy one of these manuals and then just check because that was crazy. I'm like, did that demigod really just transcribe those manuals instantly? Is that what demigods do? So this is the law that I just got from Mount Sunshade. Ah, <sighs> a Lushu. You have no control over my sex weather. Okay, so I just unlocked this manual. So let's do this again. So this guy right here has 43 million inspiration now. And I don't know if they actually transcribed them or if there was some weird bug with me saving and loading. So let's try this again. I have this right here and I hit transcribe and then I select this guy. Oh, yeah, it should have taken them time to actually transcribe those manuals, it seems. The saving and loading reduce the time that it takes to transcribe manuals? I don't know, that's so weird. I feel like I may have actually lost inspiration then because this guy didn't do that in this area with their learning speed bonus but I mean 43 million should be more than enough for what I need them to do which is basically just create a sub spirit set for themselves for spell so right now they have the divine curse heaven sent sacred curse yeah they have the full set for themselves so yeah I think I'll just stop worrying too much about what happened there and you know just read the benefits I guess Let's see, so besides that, they only have two suspirits that they can attach, so I do need to accumulate some suspirits for this guy. So that was the main blocker now that I'm thinking about it. So they have two suspirits right now, and I need them to be able to have 12 suspirits. So let's see. Where's the original Suspiria gear set? Hmm. Also, I need to see what their compatibility with this set is now. Still medium compatibility, so they couldn't even do anything with this. Anyways, if they wanted to. But I believe that my main goal was to fully increase your spell level to 18 which I was unable to do because I didn't have enough inspiration and then tried to do the tribulations so let's try to get this set up again <sighs> this is a lot to manage I don't know everything is transcribed Forty three million million inspo just so that I can remember that. That was so weird. I'm like, I know that these guys do not, or at least I don't ever remember them instantly transcribing things. So I actually have no clue on what happened with that, but we just saw it. They instantly transcribed those manuals. So. Let me just move forward with having this guy re-equip the original self-spirit gear, gear that they created. And then this is the secondary self-spirit gear that they will create for themselves later using the self-spirit loot. So let's unequip all of these items. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. 
Oh, which weapon was being used then, if not that one? Huh. I should be able to find all of the gear that I'm looking for. Okay, so everything seems to be banned. And this is in the way. So let's clear that out the way. Okay, so everything is banned. This box is also in the way. Then let's have them equip everything that they had from before. So they had a dark armor talisman, sacred curse. This is all of their items. So the first thing I need to do actually is re oh, not the wolf demon thing. I may need to like restart that game then. Where's the fang? Okay, so you're hauling something. No one else is hauling anything. Let's cancel this haul. Do you drop it? No. That's really annoying. I believe that it was this wolf demon's thing, so let's re-equip this one and hope that it was the one. Um, where is it again? I hate how like when you click this it doesn't like fully center on the item that you're looking for so you have to click off and then click again to like find it. That's so annoying. But I see it now. It's like right here. Like it, I wish I could still keep that UI. So let's have all of this guy's future sub spirit gear items over here. And then let's pick up their old items. Or let's mess out their spell level and then pick up their old items to even further increase their spell. And I could use like a heaven shot and talisman, but I'm just too lazy right now. You know that would be the best decision because I would drastically reduce the attainment cost. So now they're at spell level 18, and then they have a full subspire gear set, which they need. Um, they don't need to equip the Heavenly Heart Talisman. That's going to increase their spell skill level even more. Let's see, we have the Divine Curse, Sacred Curse, and this is a Heaven Armor. We're not using the Heaven Armor Talisman. We would rather use this Dark Armor Talisman, Sacred Curse, and Divine Curse Talisman for sure. And luckily this guy doesn't even need to have everything equipped, so... Uh, they definitely want to have the Spirit Turtle Contract to increase their Protect. And then there's a weapon, so where's that weapon at? Is this guy using it? No. No, that's curious. So now if I search Suspect so Turtle. Ah, uh, so it's this right here. Yeah, this is the weapon. It was just placed in a different area. Luckily everything is tagged with their name. So I can actually see all of the items. So now this guy has all of their original gear back, which further adds their um, spell skill level by one each. So now they're at 34 spell skill level, which hopefully allows their vitality chant and their heavenly fantasy and everything like that. And the reverse of cycle to be good. Enough for them to do some more demigod got to relations. So let's just go into beast farm, use origin force. And let's see, what's their barrier power at? They're only at 49 barrier power, which is kind of low. So let me also move forward with learning some manuals because if I can, if I can infinitely do, if I can infinitely do these demigod tribulation, then learning manuals won't really be an issue. Learn more. So 
So this is pretty much is me practicing, you know, getting my generation one turtle to be able to do the one billion tribulations. Because ideally, I would like to be able to just do this with one generation and not have to make two turtles. So, let's first spell. Um, I know that the main is called like Yin Talisman Scroll. That's the one that increases spell. Yeah, so this increases artifact mastery and spell skill level by 5. Which is something that I would love to have. And then, let's see, spell, skill. Let's try to search that. Okay, so I already have Soul Flame Chant. So now I'm working with 40 spell skill. And then let's go to Protect. This one increased Protect by 3. And it's going to cost um, 3 million Esoration. So. I don't want anything that empowers protect honestly but let me just search protection over here and see if there's anything that I could add yeah I mean these barrier power bonuses look pretty nice too search spell I want that one that empowers spell just because I know that it could make my spell stronger but not by 49% or anything low like that. Like I really like the one that increased it by like 131% and then something like high 140 like this cost 162 this cost 384 but I think it would be worth it to get these two I guess and then I want something that's going to restore chi just so that I have more things that are going to restore my chi And let's see. It's cost ninety. I want something that restores more than it costs for sure. Like pretty much the more the merrier. Uh, it needs to be myself too. I don't want anything that's doing like something annoying, like target with the least chi. That's weird. So this restores you. This one restores you as well. Mm, restores you. Wow, this is like triple. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see. This costs 58 and restores 137. I definitely want that. 58 and 254. Wow. Yeah, these unorthodox menus get crazy. 127, 174 is still a bonus. And the amount of bonus that I have to, like, my spell power compared to my chi cost is way bigger. So these differences are going to become like even wider like for example if I had a manual that even restored less and I was still probably end up restoring more just because of my cheat calls so let's also get some spell power bonus to 87% because I'm pretty much at the point where I just need to increase my spell power to make up for my lack of spell skill level or cooldown reduction. I don't even know if this guy can even learn that many unorthodox manuals, so let's see. Okay, so they have room for 92. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. This one has room for like 60 unorthodox attainments, so hopefully it works out. Who's all hurt? Um, no one important except for Ma One and Huya. You eat a panacea pill, wherever they may be. Uh, where are my panacea pills? Okay, they're right here. And I don't know why you're hurt, but eat a panacea pill. So let's see, how is this guy's stats changing? 
they're at 52 barrier power and this guy's at 53 so they're getting pretty close I believe that this one goes to like 56 barrier power so happy about that and their spell damage one is 87,000 and then I know that this one is spelled <coughs> I know that this guy went to like maybe like 90,000 if I'm thinking about it if I'm remembering correctly with like the full gear set but I believe that this guy is making pretty good gains and as you can see their cost bonus is only 19,000 so everything that I'm learning is gonna make a really big difference what manuals am I learning because this is not increasing okay yeah, these are increasing spell power okay we're here yeah, I see we're at 89,000 uh, and I have this one on practice I apologize um, I do want this one to continue to collect inspiration because they're only at 40 million which is actually a lot of inspiration especially for a nemesis I will but I just want to be doubly sure before I bring this one to primordial spirit I mean to demigod so I'll just collect this last stack of 14 million inspiration and then move them towards demigod group of yagwai cultivators attack um, you guys are just not strong enough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So let's see where we at now. How much unorthodox attainment? They have 91 out of 114, so I can still get 20 more. And then there's also the orthodox attainment that I can get too. But we're at 94% and 52 barrier power, so I don't know. I'm just going to keep increasing more spell power. As you can see, there's some that I already have. So this is 829% increase. And then this right here is 484, and then this is 828. But this is, okay, this is reducing it. 500, 400. I mean, these all look good. There's a couple of 800s in here. And that's pretty much because I just learned all those other manuals. So let's go back and just double check how much unorthodox I have because I completely forgot that. So I have the ability to gain 23 unorthodox attainment. And it's a 1 to 4 ratio. So I think I will start off with the orthodox manuals and then go back to the unorthodox manuals. So I'll click Supreme Law and then go to Spell Power and then Barrier Power pretty much. So this reduces my spell power but it also reduces my spell cost uh, even more. I don't really need that. So let's just move forward to Barrier Power. Uh, I don't want that. 20% bonus is pretty solid. So then... I'll just go to spell power and then I'll go to all actually and then I had 23 right and then if I add 3 then it will allow me to get one more so that's 24 ideally I would have like 27 but I mean these are already getting pretty expensive so I think I'll just settle for these right here but let's start low to see if I can get bigger boosts for cheap this is 87, yeah, nothing is great over here. This is 466 for 6, but for 12, that would be like 800, and I'm at 10 for 800. So I think these are still the best ones that I could learn. And then this one would also help me out. So 865, that's 18, and then I mean, Hopefully it will allow me to learn this extra one because if I'm at 18, right, then it means that I can learn one more, but maybe it won't register. So I'll see if I can, if they actually end up learning Fiery Heavenly Debacle, but I think that they will stop after the one before that because my um, Orthodox ones will be consumed all the way. I'm always looking for like an extra way to do something.
Okay, I think I just ran out of inspiration anyway, so I'm at 100,000% spell power bonus, which is great. So my vitality chant alone heals 1 million. So my vitality chant is a full heal. <laughs> and my reverse of cycle heal is 3 million. And then let's see. These other ones, they heal like a fair amount. So I can definitely use these as supplement. So I think that this guy might actually be able to do the 1 billion tribulations now. So let's try it out. And again, I'm going to make a save. <laughs> Sorry guys, but I'm always going to be making the save. So Gen 1. One bill trips. Because like I've been on this game over like three months, you know? So why would I not make a save? And just forget everything and not be able to go back and you know try different things out? It's insane. Okay, so let's get this guy into the branch area since they're back and have them cultivating. I think that they do have more inspiration than I'll ever need, so I'm fine with them being here. So let's just have them meditate. And then, of course, go back to the main topic, which was getting this guy to do the tribulation. So again, they have all of their self rare gear equipped, which is giving them plus one spell power. They have 44 spell ability, which means that they have 44% cooldown reduction. They have 34 protect, which is perfect. And then they have 100,000% spell damage bonus and 53 barrier power, which, I mean, can't really get better than that, especially compared to this guy. But this guy has 2 million chi, so there's... A slight difference and I wonder do they have all of the sun pills consumed yeah they had a lot of sun pills consumed so let's just um, I guess I could start with the attainment tribulations oh I have seven attainment tribulations left I have seven but this guy only has 797 attainment so seven attainment tribulations would actually I've been doing a lot of work with this recently, so I do have something that I can use to figure it out. So right here, I have it documented like how much each attainment tribulation will reduce it by. So I can just add these. So seven attainment tribulations will reduce my attainment by 280. So for me to be able to continuously do seven, I would actually need to have 980 attainment. Which, I mean, I guess it is possible because I do have the Heavenlit Talisman too. So I think this guy, yeah, they they should definitely be able to do seven attainment tribulations then. Because if I equip the Heavenlit Talisman, that will bring me to 1,000 attainment. So maybe I should do those first, but I kind of also... The main thing is that I want to see if this guy can do a billion tribulations. Well, hold up. Oh, this is my other turtle. What's this guy at? Okay, this guy only had four attainment tribulations, so I was doing math for the wrong guy. So this guy can definitely do those seven attainment tribulations. And then this guy has done four, and they have one left over. But if I increase their attainment by 210, then that means that I'll be doing the fifth one, which will reduce it by 50, and then the sixth one was reduced by 110. In total, so then that means that they would need to have 710 attainment in order for me to do six attainment tribulations, I believe. But I don't even think they can afford to unequip any of these items, so I'm just gonna move forward with trying to do the demigod tribulations on this guy for now. So let's start off with the wood tribulation. Can we do the 1 billion tribulations with 1 million match chi? Who knows? Their chi regeneration is atrocious. Pretty bad. 
I mean, the good thing though is that Vitality Chant is now giving the full heal. So it's like, how could you not be able to do this? I don't know if this was the 1 billion tribulation though. Oh, that pop off got me killed, honestly. Let's see. Yeah. This is why we say. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we save some. I promise you that pop up definitely got me killed. So first, I just want to double check that I did make that save scum. Let's see. Yeah, I did make the save scum. But that's so annoying though because of a Tally chant it definitely was up at that time. And then I just died because of that pop up. It almost makes me wanna like somehow I wish I could just disable these agency pop ups, honestly. Because like I kinda don't care about agencies at this point unless they are full in belief and I can just collect off of that. So again we're waiting for Lady Cloud to get back so I can start cultivating on her. And let's go back to doing this demigod tribulation. This is a wood tribulation, so. And their stats are good. So let's go back to doing that. So it seems like we're barely, we're just barely getting there with Vitality Chant only. And it's a great thing. But the problem is that it's just so barely, like if I just had like 200,000 more as cheese and this will be kind of effortless and again lady cloud is back so let's make sure that they are in a good spot to cultivate let's have them cultivate here and now let's focus on this one again vitality chant can i just vitality chant it yeah i believe i can come on agency please no more pop-ups and then I have this other one right here that I can use to empower my spell damage. I think these other ones actually may have messed me up a little bit more. So I can just do Vitality Chant and then like Heavenly Panacea as I need to. Yeah. Let's see. Like, come on. No more pop ups, please. <laughs> like, a pop up right there. You saw how much like Chi I just lost? clicking on that pop-up because this guy is taking massive damage so it's like every pop-up couldn't get me killed so this only costs 70,000 chi and it would make my stuff heal way better but yeah let's just use these smaller ones to keep me above float oh wow that was the one of the good ones that research 250,000 so I can just use that interesting I mean I'm very satisfied right now yeah, this one actually has better spell capabilities than the Generation 2 guy at this point. However, they just have a smaller chi pool. So it feels like it's harder. Because every iteration just feels like very close. So let's do this wood tribulation yet again. But you know, with the more suspers that I attain, the more I can increase my spell. And uh, right now, this guy has gear that increases my spell skill level by one. So for each one that I add, I will be adding plus one because I will reduce one and then add another two so that I will gain one. And right now, they have 44% reduction out of the 50 total reduction that they can get. So once I have six subspirits available, then I'll be able to add enough to get them to that 50% spell quote and reduction which hopefully will help out a lot which I mean I know it will help out a lot just use these in between I really like this one right here and then this is trying to get me killed and let's empower spell damage a little bit oh I didn't even get to use the buff heavenly panacea save me Vitality chance save me. 
Yeah, don't use the empower skills before you're ready to even use a spell. That was kind of crazy on my end. Come on, Vitality Chant, you got this. And then uh, I'll just wait a little bit. Then I'll use this to empower my spell damage and then use these guys to keep me afloat. I only need a little bit more just to be able to, you know. Oh, please. No more. I do not need pop-ups right now. Okay, Central Plains needs to choose a policy. Whatever, manual labor. I have so much influence. Everything is awakening. Tranquility chant. Okay, things are getting scary. Um, let's do an empowerment and then blast myself with all of these. Whew. Honestly, I'm like, is there any other way that I can get through this? Yeah, I think I should just wait a little bit longer. But for the small ones, I just want to use them instantly because I'm not sure how much chi they cost. Okay, so they survived that. So now this guy's at, let's see, it should be five, I believe. Uh, there are four and let's see do I still have that castle gem consumed on them yeah I do so let's see are there any other pills that I can use that I haven't used that I can use to gain a sub sphere on this guy hmm So the prime pill will give them two sub spirits. I believe they already used the prime pill on this disciple though. Yeah, I already used it. So ah, uh, I do want to just continue to do these one billion tribulations, but they are so scary. All right, let's just move forward because I just need to get sis done. So let's just heal myself with the wall. And then wait a little bit longer for all of my cooldowns to go down. But you know, we're getting inspiration back, so I could probably also learn some spell power increases. And this one is meditating. They want to eat a spirit stone to increase their cultivation speed. Let's have them meditate some more. And then, oh, I could do just do the attainment tribulations for sure, like way less scary. Oh, so let me remove this divine curse talisman because I don't really need it, and then turn on the heaven lent talisman. Because I'm like, I really want to get to fifty percent reduction, but I'm like, um, I don't know if I want to do it that way. But I mean, they did do the one billion tribulation, but I did have to accumulate all of these other different manuals to increase their spell. So I mean, it's not really, I wouldn't say it counts really as a generation one because all the resources that I have are things that I will have like after having a, like way past the first generation of disciples. So let's see where are we at. This is a hundred million, really nothing. And it says I have three left. I just need six sub spirits. Nope, 
not that one, the attainment tribulation. This is also going to reduce my attainment so I can learn things for cheaper again. Then it says I have two left, but I believe that this is the fifth tribulation and it's going to reduce my attainment by more than 16. So I'll actually end up with just one left over unless I can re increase my attainment to be over 700. See where are you at? Oh, you're about halfway to demigod. Mental state is at 75, which I mean, is pretty bad. Defending mind and divine comprehension. There's really not much that I can do about this. Whatever. It's okay. We'll be at maximum mental state soon. A rainstorm, channel cloud scrolling. And then, as you can see, I lost my ability to be able to do my attainment tribulation because my attainment went down by 50 points, I believe. Or 60 points, actually. Let me see. Yeah, it says I did 6. So my attainment went down by 60 points. So unless I re-increase my attainment by 60 points, which is definitely not going to happen, then I can't do any more. And I really noticed that, like, being able to do sits attainment tribulation is like kind of like the sweet spot of ease and then it gets like more difficult if you try to do more than that so I want to remove this heavenly talisman and pretty much just give up on that but I also do have this turtle panda J which increases attainment let's see no I don't think that that would make a change because this is 446 now where are we at? Did it not even reduce my attainment? Oh, this is the panda G, not the <laughs> <laughs> that's the item that you would use to unlock the panda. That's not the item that reduces attainment. I'm silly. <laughs> I'm very silly for that one. Alright, it's whatever. I got six attainment tribulations down. And right now my cultivator has six subspirits, which is exactly what I needed. So I can make my subspirit gear. I can make a new... I can make six items into like self spirit gear so that I can increase my spell level by six, which is exactly what I want to do. So which six items will I choose? I think I'll just go with these one, two, three, four, five, six, I guess. Well, obviously not these six because they already have gear uh self spirits on them. So let's just remove these items. There's always like uh, something annoying in the way. Let me just use my tic-tac-toe to re clear this area out. And then bring the storage area back. So one, two, three, four, so all the gear and then I guess the flood dragon scale and then the turtle shell should do five six so one two three four five six items that aren't self-spirited now I should be able to add an attachment So right now I'm at medium compatibility with these items. So now I'm back in the waiting stage. So I actually need to pretty much unequip everything and then just work on getting high compatibility with these items. 
But I mean, as you saw, I was able to get this guy to be able to do with one billion tribulations. So that was really just my main goal. And at this point, I'm just trying to make it so that they can do one billion tribulations even with less difficulty. But it looks like that set was good enough for them. So I'm just going to re-equip all of these items right here. And then just have them, you know, kind of relapse while they increase their compatibility with these items. So that I can subspirit them for less. So let me just double check. So yeah, all of these items are good. And then... I also need to double check this guy. So this guy, 220, around 220 battle power, and then none of these items are already self-spirited. So they're also getting their compatibility up with these items too. And then let's see if I do craft attachment. Let's see how much compatibility I have. So we're level four, high compatibility, high, 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 but I'm looking to do level six, so I'm pretty sure I won't be medium with level six, but I won't really even be able to tell until I get to level six. But there was this one artifact that I just had equipped. Like some of these I just equipped. So let's go back into my notepad file that I was working on earlier. So I just want to be able to add this 600% artifact power bonus. But then I also wanted to do the spell level plus 12. So since this guy has a sub spirit level of four, I'll want to get it to level five just so that I can see more of the UI. And to get this guy to sub spirit level five, I need to have, I believe 17 attachments. So let's, let me just see, I'm gonna double check everything. Yeah, level five is 17 attachment so i just need to pretty much just put trash sub spirits on some lotus roots i guess <laughs> um do i want to do that now eh, i guess i can get, just get that done and then be done so let's see generation two turtle let's go over here to the area where i'm putting all of my sub spirit equips I need to make sure all of these are being and then this is what I wanted the pen and demon soul jade that reduces attainment so they actually have five slots and I just wanted to get four. Oh, this flood dragon horn is not banned okay just make sure everything is banned because I would be so annoyed if I lost those items because I was working on getting compatibility with, with them for a little while so then I just want to pick up four of these just because they craft super quickly and then just craft some fodder attachments on these um, off cuts. So let's do cultivation related or cultivation properties flight. Okay, so these are also full too. And I can increase this agency level, so I guess I'll just send Lady Cloud out there to collect that inspiration. Same with the Wild South. Wow, these these agencies are going crazy. So as you can see, we just crafted one attachment super quickly, and just gonna keep going. Until this guy gets to level five. Yeah, like at a certain point, there should be no reason why you need to farm your pills.
So now she's gonna go collect another 20 million inspiration. So she just collected like 30 million inspiration. So let's see, what level are we? Yeah, this guy is level four still. So let's get them to level five. My goal is to be able to see how much compatibility they have. All right, so now that they're level five envoy, let's see what these um, epiphanies look like. So this is level five. Eh. Yeah, so these are medium compatibility right here. Like all of these are medium compatibility. So they will cause double. And I do have enough to spend double, but I don't really want to spend double. So I'm just gonna drop these items and then re-equip these other items. And then I guess I'm pretty much just waiting for the sub spirit set to have good compatibility. So let's put these items back on and this will be the full set. So Lady Cloud was able to fully get so much inspiration. I need to stop being greedy with her, honestly. Okay, my spirit roots are doing things and stuff. See this one is being cursed. I don't know why. Let's go to Earth. Um, I just want to get the Ultra Essence. What's happening over here? This should be the Sage Fruit. I may actually need to go and farm some more spirit roots. Wait, this is the metal one, so this one needs the ultra essence. Ah, that other one needed the gnarled vine. I don't know why I keep thinking that the crimson fruit needs the ultra essence when it needs the gnarled vine. And then the gnarled vine needs the prism lotus. So you do meditation over here. Your mental state will go up again. Yeah, so they have 62 stats from practice expertise. And I guess I'm kind of just waiting for this gnarled vine to be finished so that I can feed it and not have to worry about it in my next run. So yeah, at this point I'm just waiting for all of these guys to have increased compatibility with their items basically. And this guy has 3 days until tribulations and this guy has 2.1 days, but as long as they have high enough stamina then they should be good so I just need to be sure to manage that so let's just feed these guys some resin essence like realistically I would probably give them like three each at the very least but I definitely need to be careful about that Um, please don't be cursed. <laughs> so this one needs to be fed the prism lotus. And then I'm just looking around for any spirit dude just in case. So yeah, I mean pretty much have everything set up. 
these two guys are just waiting to increase their competitivity with their spare rules and then this one is going to demigod then once i get done to demigod i'm able to like see their maximum power so yeah thank you for watching i hope you learned something or just enjoy watching me you know continue to learn myself and all the other good stuff and i hope i see you in the next video later